Welcome everyone. Welcome to Buddha Bowl Part 2. As you can see, I have uh, one and a half big chicken breasts here, and we're going to cut those into medallions. I trimmed off some of the some of the fat that I didn't want, and we're just going to cut these to nice medallions. And then I'm going to cut them in half so they're bite size. And then we're going to set it to the side for a minute so we can get the rest of it ready. So we're going to cut this, cut these in half. Try to make sure my chicken is not going to touch anything else. So I got two cutting boards in play here. So let me get this cut real quick. I was hoping to get this video done in under 15 minutes, but that did not happen. This is a, you know, this is a big, a big dish. But hey, like I said, if I can do it, all of you can do it. Okay, almost done, guys. Bear with me. Okay, that's all cut up the way that I want it. So let's set that over there. Lift this out of the way. Wash my hands real quick. Okay, and I got my glass board here. And we got some uh, fresh ginger. This is what it looks like when you buy it. I peeled it with the peeler. Now we're going to grate it. Mm, smells good. Oop. Careful not to grate the fingers. Okay. Okay, get all that beautiful fresh ginger. Now we're going to take some sesame oil and we're going to put it in our skillet. A couple tablespoons give or take as you see in how I just professionally just measured that. <laughs> yeah whatever. And we're going to put the uh, ginger in there. Okay we're going to turn it on to about medium. We're going to open up this garlic here. I do chop up my own garlic, but this time, you know, I couldn't pass up the deal. This is a pretty good deal on this, so I just went with it already done. You can do it however you want. We're going to get a tablespoon of garlic and put in there. Okay. Now, we're going to mix that around a little bit. Okay, we're going to need a little bit more sesame oil. Okay, you can get that nice and hot. Okay, you're going to cook the ginger and the uh, garlic until it gets fragrant. As soon as you can start smelling the fragrance off of it, then you will uh, start putting the chicken in. Do, do, do. Got everything still going. Time for some coffee. Coffee break. So like I said, I'm going to show you cooking the chicken. We've done the quinoa. We've done the sesames, we've done the sweet potatoes, they're still in the oven, and then now we're going to do the chicken. Then on a separate video I'll do the dressing, and then we'll show you how everything is plated together. Oh, oh you hear that? Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that smells good. Woo! When you're smelling the whole house up with this, ginger and garlic and some sesame oil, sun. Mm. All right, let's put the chicken in. Okay, put this way out of the way. Wash my hands again. Doop doo doo. Oh my gosh. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. I'm going to spread that around. So everything is touching real good. Now, if you don't want to buy fresh ginger root, you can buy it already in a container. So just saying, you can. It's, it's there for you to do. I'm done with this. Set that over there. Got some cilantro, some avocado still. Okay, I'm getting everything ready. Mm. 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 yum 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 you're gonna cook this and get this nice and brown and like I said I'm making um, 12 meals so this big breast and a half will make four Buddha bowls I'm not gonna make all four I'm only gonna make two and then whenever we want it again I have everything ready to make the other two so there it is all right, I'm going to pause the video and finish cooking off this chicken and everything else. And I will be back with you. Hang tight, guys, and we'll get this plated up and we'll get eaten. All right, everyone, here we are. Welcome to the home stretch. Are you guys hungry? I know I am. Okay, we're going to plate this Buddha bowl up. Let's rock. Here we go. We're going to get some quinoa in the bottom of the bowl. Okay, then we're going to get some chicken that's been cooked in our sesame oil and ginger and garlic and we're going to put it on the side of the plate. Make sure you wipe around the edges people, keep everything clean. Oh, as I do it again. Okay. And then we're going to lay some spinach and I might break it up a little bit. We're going to make a nice mound of spinach on the side. Okay, now we're going to take our wonderful sweet potato and onion mixture that's been baking in the oven and we're going to put a spoon of that over the top like so. Yum! Then we're going to take a quarter of an avocado and I just peeled it and now we're going to slice it up and lay that on there like so. Okay. Then we're going to take a pinch of fresh chopped cilantro and put over the top. Okay, then our dressing that we made, we're going to start drizzling that all over the top. Oh gosh, that smells good. Okay, then we're going to take our toasted sesame seeds and sprinkle them all over the top. Okay, and there we go. Boom, boom, 
wonderful, wonderful meal. Lots of flavors. It's fun. It's a little time consuming, yes, but it is great to eat. I think you guys will enjoy it. Let me know how uh, it turned out if you guys made it. Thank you very much for tuning in to Buddha Bowls. I'll see you guys in a couple days with the next chicken recipe. You guys have a good night.